A tour of a notorious Baghdad prison, guided by the Iraqi interior minister, Jawad al-Bolani. As the word spread of his visit, prisoners began to tell their stories. A common theme, torture and abuse. Many showing their scars to the visitors. This man says his genitals were given electric shock treatment. Others said they'd been forced to sign confessions for crimes they didn't commit. A prisoner links his ordeal to the days when Saddam Hussein was running the country. Jawad al-Bolani expressed his surprise and astonishment. He ordered an immediate investigation. More than 640 cases of alleged human rights violations were brought to his attention, all of them in al Qarada facility. The behavior of some people working for this ministry does not represent the general trend. We stand strongly against any violation of human rights. Thousands of Iraqi prisoners deemed a security threat are being held in U.S. custody. Most have never faced a trial. The American military says it's reviewing the cases of detainees to determine if they are eligible for release. Hundreds have already been handed over to Iraqi authorities. Some prisoners claim they've been locked up because of their political affiliations, not for any crimes they might have committed. In the future, as American troops draw down and prepare to leave, it will be up to the Iraqis themselves to champion human rights and determine who should be in prison and who should not. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera.